friends, welcome back to Dark Souls. We have Saxalir. And we're heading down to Blight Town. Last episode we killed the Gaping Dragon. Gaping Vagina, Vagina Dragon. Take your pick. We're gonna take the the shortcut down to Blighttown. We picked the master key, we may as well take the little shortcut. It doesn't cut out very much. Um, we may go back later on to pick up um, a spell from there. Have a little leap over the roof. Incidentally, I'll just quickly show you down here. Not a lot of people know this merchant exists. Oh, hello. Hmm? Well, this is annoying. Importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't pry. I'm Ricky, the I? I was once an established smith, but look at me now. Can you believe it? Yes, yes, I can. Hmm? What is it? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, there's not much to occupy this time. How about this? I could forge your weapon, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what made me the best in Vinai. Well. You can actually make uh, magic weapons using him. Um, and once you obtain the enchanted ember, you can make enchanted weapons. We're not going to bother. We don't have any green titanite shards. Come back soon. Smithing helps soothe my nerves. Don't let me wither away out of idleness. Yeah, yeah. So, I may actually do a little bit of farming off screen uh, to obtain large titanite shards and get my weapon up to plus 10. But for now, we're going to tackle Blight Town. Our little dark tunnel here. Oh, hello. I have actually managed to pull just one of these guys, which is good. They're quite powerful. But if you get them one at a time, you should be able to take them out fairly straightforwardly. And they'll drop probably dung pies. Yeah. Occasionally they can they can drop the I believe it's the large club. Not the great club. We'll take you out fairly easily. Oh, oh no. That's fine. The, their weapon actually poisons you. And has yes two two. Don't know if that came across on the microphone. Um, it has a poison effect when you use it. It's actually one of the better weapons in the game, but it's fairly difficult to come by. It is a very rare drop, and I believe they're the only only enemies in the game which can drop it. There is a shortcut. You fall off of there and land on a series of platforms underneath, but I don't feel brave enough to show you that. So we'll go the semi-long way. Depending on your weapon, you can attack this guy through that wall. 
but this one's not long enough. Now there are some items around here which we will probably be going back for. But for now, I just kind of want to get down and get to the bonfire. As the particular guys in question, you may have just seen an arrow or a dart fly past me there. Uh, they shoot poison darts at you. Oh, that's not good. Wow. <laughs> and <laughs> insult to injury, <laughs> I get poisoned. I apologize guys, that was that was awful play. So we're back down to the bottom now. Uh, slightly more efficiently than last time. I will regain my human status at the bonfire here. I think I'll show off just um, one other thing that a lot of you may not know. Um, if you go to the back of this room leap into the little crucible here. There's a dragon scale. Now I may go with the dragon weapon later on, so I may require those. And that's one of not very many in the game. So we have a couple of thousand souls that won't be enough to do anything with. However, We'll kill this guy and hopefully we'll kill this other one. Yep. Dark Spirit, Maniter Mildred has invaded. There she is over there. And she has a butcher knife and a plank shield. Because, well, she's insane. Who do you think you are? The Capra Demon? To be fair, the Capra Demon has two. We'll take a few hits on her. Block her power attack. The good news is, using the Battle Axe, we can interrupt her attacks as well. So she's a fairly easy kill. And she will drop for us the Butcher Knife. As well as a few humanities. We'll get poisoned here. That's pretty much unavoidable. Um, I've seen it done with certain armor types and a lot of resistance, but well, we don't have that right now, so I'm going to be too far away to block that. And we have mosquitoes on our ass. Let's uh, quickly avoid those. We will also avoid the giants over there. Who roll boulders at you in there. Well, they're not very nice at all. Thirteen humanity, so I think we can... Justify a couple of humanity heals to get through this poison. I should have taken some moss from the undead merchant. The one who called us a humdrum lad. I should have taken some from her. I didn't. We'll live and learn. Now, the other thing we'll see here is a summon sign. It's Manny or Mildred. I figure she's decided, well, okay, you've proven your worth. I'll help you now. 
So we'll take Van Eater Mildred for the upcoming boss. We have a quick heal here. Hello, Man Eater Mildred. We have, we both have sacks on. Aww. Sack bros for life. Now you're getting a little twitchy there, are you? Okay. We've gotten through a lot of the poison. It's not doing a lot of damage to us, so we'll just go ahead and we'll take on Quailag. That is a big spider. Censored! 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 This video rated PG-13. Hi Quailag! I haven't fought you for a long time. And in fact, the last time I did fight you... Oh no. The last time I did fight you, you glitched on me. Which was awful because I ended up um, massively dying as a result and then I sort of rage quit the game. She's focused on Mildred which is... looks decent. Mildred's taking a fair amount of damage and doing absolutely nothing in return. There we go. That's the attack that got me last time. It may have done 98 damage to Mildred, but it did a hell of a lot more than 98 to me. Okay, our overhead two hand is doing 170 damage. That's not too bad. It will take quite a few of those to defeat Quelag, but, you know, we'll get there. Mildred is proving no worth whatsoever because she's standing in the lava. As long as we're... Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. Oh. I didn't see that one coming. So Mildred's dead. <laughs> Her AI subroutine... If she gets caught in lava, she's not going to get out of it. Um, kind of difficult to avoid. Oh, good dodge. Ah, yes, yes. You are a lava beast, we know. Charge at me. Come on. Come at me, bro. Sis. Okay. I feel like I may need to go the other way here. Oh, why can't I hit her? Small counter hit there. Oh my god. I was trying to switch from two hand to one hand. She caught me as I was doing so. And lo and behold,
Okay, so we're back. We're not going to take Mildred into this fight because, well, let's be honest, she did absolutely nothing for us. We are going to ensure we're not two-handing again. Okay, so the pine resin's doing pretty much nothing to her. There is, incidentally, a way to cheese Quelag, but I'm not convinced I can make it work. Oh no. Well, there goes the pine resin. It wasn't doing much anyway, to be fair. Let's have a couple of soul arrows at you. 23 damage, wow. Okay, that actually... The cheese does revolve around um, hitting Quelag herself, not the spider body. Oh, for God's sake. This is not supposed to be happening. <laughs> Aww. So, um, I've done a little bit of farming. Um, I'm going to go back now to Andre. And I'm going to upgrade my weapon a little bit. Okay, so we are back in Blight Town. Um, I 
I, while I was in the area, I bought Great Heavy Soul Arrow to replace Normal Soul Arrow. And I boosted my Battle Axe, as we'll see here, to plus 9. It, it'll do a little bit more damage. Um, I'll actually wait and I'll put my armor on outside the boss fight to make it quicker. We'll go past the egg carriers. If you attack them, um, they each released f five leeches, which doesn't sound like much. They're really small, but they can do a lot of damage very quickly, and it really is best not to not to irk them if you can avoid it. Okay, Quelag the Revenge, the Re Revenge, if you like. I don't think we collected our souls last time, did we? No. Well, that was a really silly move on my part. We lost 10,000 souls. But... You know what else is a really silly move on my part? Not putting armor on. I'm, I'm very off, <laughs> to say the least. We didn't get far enough away. I may just need to go for it like this. Our poison's gone at least. We can afford a humanity heal here. Okay. 265 damage I can take. A little bit more armor. I feel very tense. Um, I think I need to sort of loosen myself up a little bit here. Hundred and forty-one. Well, well, at least we'll do a thousand damage if we can hit with all of these. I'm stinking the place out. That's more like the right dodge. That's not. Do not run into the lava. 
you will die. Oh no. Oh no, I was saying. Sorry I'm not um, providing a lot of commentary. I'm <laughs> fearing for my life somewhat. I wouldn't like to die here. Okay, we have a fairly clear battlefield here. So, circle attacks. Oh, and lucky I was blocking there. Jesus. Didn't expect that to still hit me. Oh my god. Come on. Oh Jesus. Right, we managed to hit with all our great heavy Solaros, which is, you know, something. We were too far away for her to... Oh. You should be... You should be stopped for a lot longer than you are after breathing lava. Get the hell out of there. Right. That's fine. One humanity left. <laughs> Die. Thank God for that. <sighs> we can obtain the soul of Quelag and we'll obtain twin humanities as well. And by Christ, that fight was about 50 times longer than it really needed to be. We get 20,000 souls, and we can ring the second bell of awakening.
So we have a, we have opened up Sen's Fortress. Now I would end the video here, but I'd like to go out on somewhat of a high. <laughs> So to that end, we're going into the Demon Ruins. You don't need to go here yet, but we may as well. We have a lot more egg carriers. And we have a fog gate which we can clearly see the other end of, and there's no boss there. Hmm. Also, again, I'm talking about um, how organic Dark Souls world is. See that area there? Yeah, you're going to go there. That yellow glow over there is actually another fog gate, and leads to directly to another boss. But we can't go there yet. Now if you look out here to the left, there is a lot of lava. Where is it coming from? Well, we actually need to go down there later on in the game. But that's going to be tricky with all that lava there, so we have to kill. Once we round this corner, ceaseless discharge. He won't attack us yet. And indeed he won't attack us at all. Until either we attack him. Or. We take his sister's stuff. Now, the equipment we just picked up is actually um, the boss we just fought, Quelag's sister's equipment. And Ceaseless Discharge is indeed her brother. Now, we don't want any of what he's peddling just now. He'll probably kill us in one hit. And, let's be honest, I have no healing items, so I'm going to run back to the beginning of the boss area. Come hither, sir. I'd like to punch your hand, please. And that's the end of that. <laughs> yes, it's a little bit lame. So we now have a good few more souls. I'm going to end this episode here. And off screen, I think I'm going to do a little bit of um, running back. I'm going to get back to Firelink because we need to go there anyway. And I'm going to buy a couple of things. I'll, I'll probably do that on camera just so that you know I'm not spamming around and cheating or whatever. There are very few cheats for this game that actually work, to be fair. Uh, there is a soul dupe glitch, which I won't be using. So to that end, I'll see you guys in the next episode. God, I look so burnt.
So just as an addendum, I died coming out of Blight Town to get here. <laughs> Only me. Let's buy our shit and then I'll properly end the video. Oh, hello. Well, you certainly are myself. Yes, yes. I'd like to buy from you the Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring. All right. That'll do it. That will do it. May we meet? Oh, hello. Well, you certainly... Nice. I'll also take... Um, yeah, Great Soul Arrow. All right. That'll do... I'm just going to walk away from you. I don't care that you're talking. We'll take a second point in attunement, so we can attune a second spell. And we'll take a point in intelligence. Oh, we should also um, attune that spell we just bought. Okay. So yeah, I changed my armor. Um, the reason I died, I got hit by one of the toxic darts that I was talking about in the last episode, or in this episode, but earlier on. And it toxic poisoned me straight away. I was also poisoned from running through the swamp. So my health deteriorated incredibly rapidly. To make matters worse, I then got clobbered by one of the giants up at the top. And I couldn't recover in time. I was drinking Estus as I died. Which is, you know, a little bit of a... A fail, but... You know... We're here now. In beloved Firelink. And it's definitely time to end this episode. I think a bow. Bowing to the game is more appropriate here. So, with that in mind... Farewell Dark Souls, and farewell friends. Thank you all for watching. I know this could be a long video, but thanks for trudging through it with me. Bye for now.